So, um, <laughs> start with something. Today, um, we have a little chat about the the Alien films. Um, these are films that are very important to me. They had a big effect on my life as as a teenager and that sort of thing. And they keep making them. And yeah, we're not going to go into Prometheus and the new one because um, I don't really feel like they're part of the the series yet. Um, I don't know. But let, let's start with Alien, the the original one. And I'm not going to go into directing and who produced what and who played what. I just want to talk about the world and the thing that they created. So, the first one was 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 really different. You've got to think this is up until then most sci-fi films were like like Star Trekky sort of stuff, yeah? It was heroic people going off into space, um, doing daring things. And I mean we'd had Star Wars. That was a slightly dirtier, darker, you know, world. But Alien was really the first proper big film. I mean I suppose uh, there'd been an odd one before it, but to do like truckers in space. I mean, these these aren't heroes. These aren't people that are going out, scientists and things like that. These are very normal people, like truck drivers, you know, that kind of thing. And you really get to to feel for these people. They are they are, I suppose, stereotypes that you may know somebody that is like that. Um, and that that works. That that makes it more you know, gritty and, and realistic, and that, that's nice, even though it's a sci-fi film. The Alien itself, I mean, what a great piece of design. Up until then, most aliens have been very strange kind of things, but that, it's a real work of art, and it's filmed so well because they don't use it that much. I've seen one of the original Alien suits, and when you see them, they do look a little bit ropey. Um... They're still beautiful, but just it's a guy in a suit. Um, it's filmed in such a way that you never see it properly, um, which they did in the latter films. Um, even though the suits got better, yeah, the, you know it, it kind of worked. But just that that original suit, the, 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 and I remember, okay, I remember as a I'd be about eight, and my dad. I don't know whether he taped it off the TV or bought the video cassette of Alien or what, but he had it on the video. And he said to my mum, here, watch this and I watch this. And he said to me, don't look, just cover your eyes, just watch this. And it was the, it was the chest buster scene. And of course, I covered my eyes. And I remember being like, wow. I'll admit, Alien was the film that made me want to be a special effects man. Um... It's the thing I went to school and said, please, can I do? And yeah, but it was, it had such an effect. And it's very real world and it's very realistic characters. And then, I mean, you you don't know. I mean, it was the first to have a female lead. You know, the, the female was the one that survived to the end. Most of these things, the, the, the females in them were the ones going off and getting a coffee. You know, um, there were heroic men and... I mean, even so, Ripley is scared in the film. And it's nice to see, you know, somebody that is that is facing death and looking like they're facing death. Um, then, and some people are a bit critical that it's... They, I watched some stuff that it's a, a bit of a shift. But Aliens was another great, you know, thing in my childhood. Um... It's what got me building the model kits and things like that. A friend of mine bought me a, a dropship kit and I was just like, wow. And I remember building that and the aliens and the, the chest busters and the face huggers and the kits you could buy. And James Cameron created a different... So many sequels maybe would have followed the same thing and let's just do another group of people on a spaceship with an alien hunting them down. James Cameron, he went the other way. He was like, let's have loads of these things and let's make it a battle film. Let's make it an action film. And you don't get many military 
battle action uh, I don't know how to describe it films like that um, there's been ones that have imitated it since you know like your Starship Troopers and things like that they've kind of touched on it but Aliens was the first film to have that military and yes maybe the characters are all a little bit sort of I would say 80s stereotypes of military people um, but it is an 80s movie and maybe there isn't as much realness in the characters and, and I don't think the suits were as good for the creatures in it either you can see them in it because they were just people in leotards and it's not as but you ignore that because it's filmed well and it's filmed in the dark and it's and it is one of the greatest I would say sci-fi action films ever made um it is in my both of them the first two are both in my top 10 of films that I every time there's a new format I've got I think I've got them on video cassette I think I've got them on DVD I've got them on blu-ray I've got a 4k player now I'll probably buy them on that again I mean just for instance looking at the the I mean blu-ray both of the first two are just breathtaking um how good they look then we got Alien 3 and I have to admit when I was younger I went to see it at the cinema in America and it, it took me this was kind of at those times if you went to see films were like shown in America for and then moved to England and then you know and there was gaps between them nowadays the release dates are a lot closer and I struggled to see it, it just finished over there and I remember going to see it and I, we went to the crappiest cinema ever I sat in the seat and the seat collapsed we had to move and there was a hole in the wall and I could see the, the film next door through it and I actually halfway through thought I'd rather go and watch the film next door it looked bad it it was a mess and I think I think for me I suppose uh, in my younger years Aliens was such an important film to me the Hicks New Hudson thing and then in the first five or ten minutes they kill off and then I was like really angry that you know they'd taken the two characters that that we'd come to love and killed them off and even now I, I sometimes look at it and think maybe it would have got a better reaction from the public if they'd have kept them alive and maybe just done a thing of Ripley's sleep capsule was the only one put in and ejected out of the thing and you could still have had the mystery of all why why was I ejected out of the thing and then not you know something like that but um, now I'm older I can see probably where they were coming from it is to make it more she loses something and it makes her you know she cannot win against these creatures she can never be happy as long as they are there and it is up to her to, to wipe them out and I think the the creature design, yeah, this this it was early day CGI, and now some of the some of the CGI looks a little ropey. But if you just look at the design of the creature on its own, you know, as as like a a statue or a kit or whatever, as a thing, it's a brilliant piece of design. They they took what was reasonably good with the you know Ridley Scott version and. I can see I've got a kit of it up there and made it <laughs> a lot better. Um, I don't know if if you've seen it, if if you can get hold of it, there's the direct it's not like a director's cut, but it's the it's the the original version before Fox fiddled with it. And it is a lot a lot lot better. Um it does make more sense. There are some very key scenes in there. Um Paul McGann has a lot more part in it. I feel sorry for him because his name's quite high on the credits when 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 you went in the original, and he kind of and he's only in it for two scenes and he only says about four words, but he he has a bigger part in the in the original cut. Um, and I I've, I have I'll admit you may leave nasty comments at the bottom, but <coughs> I have I have grown to appreciate Alien Three as I've got older. I suppose you know. When I was younger, I wanted the action film of the second one. Now, I don't mind the slow pacing more. Um, okay, then we have 
The Resurrection. And to be honest, I I absolutely hate that film. The design of the creatures, the work that the they did, they've worked on lots of other films, and it is fantastic. The designs of the creatures and the the way that they, they swim through the, and all that's brilliant. It's just crap. It is really, 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 really crap. It's like somebody's gone right. Let's take the best bits of uh, that we can and then just stick them all together. So we've got like that people trapped in a spaceship. Then we've got the military thing of it. Then we've got the creatures that, and it just I don't know, just doesn't work. It is. It it makes a really good coaster. I think out of every box set I've got, I think. If you were to say how many times, I think I think like I would watch Alien and Aliens maybe five or six times a year. You know what I mean? It's one of those at least once a month I'll watch one of them. Um, I just watched the first two yesterday and today. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, Alien 3 I will watch maybe two times a year maybe. Maybe once, you know, it is one of them that... Because I've watched the other one so much, you think, oh, I've something different, put that one in. But that last one, I just... I can't even bring myself to see it. Um, then, I suppose, you've got Aliens vs. Predator and things like that. Aliens vs. Predator, the graphic novel, it was taken from... Go get that, read that. That is what they should have made. They made that film, which, yeah, I don't know. At the time, I, I kind of enjoyed it, but I've... I've I don't know. I, I think... <laughs> I think you mature. I'm going to do another video about this, but I think you can you can fall out with films. You can you, you may love them now, but in another ten years you can watch and go. Actually, that sucks. I, I okay. Just as instance, watched Robin Hood: Prince of Thieves the other day. God, it's terrible. Anyway, um, I'm not going to go into Prometheus, like I said, and and the new one because one I haven't seen the new one, and two I just don't think I don't feel Prometheus is part of the the alien series it's it's something different it's not a bad film my only okay the thing that i have with that is that that you have all these very intelligent scientists that do some very very dumb things in it um so yeah duh but if you've never seen alien aliens or alien 3 go out there get hold of a copy of them go out and buy them yeah, buy a Blu-ray, buy a DVD player, get them. Don't get them off of Netflix and oh. stuff like that because cause that's just going to kill Hollywood. There, another grab. Um, yeah. So, I don't know whether you agree with me on these things. I Leave comments, subscribe, um, share this. I want I want your opinion, yeah? I want people to tell me what, what the Alien films mean to them. Uh... Because the Alien, the first, the first three, have had a big impact on my life. Um, I can see from here I have at least one, two, three, seven, eight. I have a lot of Alien merchandise, which I'll probably talk about at some point and show off. Um, I would put the Alien films up there as films that had an an, an an impact on me as much as Star Wars and I suppose Star Trek films as well. So, like I say, if you like the video, you like my ramblings, <laughs> um, subscribe, like, leave comments, um, say hi, disagree with me, agree with me. I want to see what you think about this, yeah? Um, share this video. Let let If you've got friends that you think might be interested in this, let them see it as well. Um... I've 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 been me, you've been you. Um, it's been wonderful talking to you. Um, even you, my biggest fan there at the back. Um, keep watching the videos, and I'll see you all.